In this video, you will learn how to use automatic actions to distribute orders. Orders can be distributed in three ways. First, let's distribute orders based on the order source. Second, based on delivery method that the customer picked when completing the order. And finally, third, distribute orders based on the product's origin warehouse. Here, we have prepared a list of orders, several statuses that will help us in our demonstration. We have Royal Mail and FedEx statuses, which will account for orders with these shipping methods. Then eBay, where all orders from your eBay account will go. eBay DE, where orders from eBay Germany will go. And Ready for Shipping, where all orders from each origin will go. So let's move on to Automatic Actions. The Actions Groups tab. Here we added a group called Distribution of Orders. We will add our automatic actions to this group. So let's go to Automatic Actions tab and click on Add Automatic Action. As the condition we choose, the order has been paid for. At the beginning, we want all orders to go to a single status. That is, after choosing, the order has been paid for. We can change the statuses of such an order to Ready for Shipping. This will apply to every order. It does not matter if it came from eBay, Amazon, or your own store. Finally, we choose the relevant actions group and save this action. Let's add another action. Again, let's pick the order has been paid for, but this time let's add our first condition, namely order source. We can choose a specific eBay account as the source of the order or enter any eBay account. So if the order comes from an eBay account, let's change the status to eBay. Additionally, we can introduce a new condition, eBay site. That is, we have to pick the market by geography. For example, for eBay site, eBay DE, we can change the status for such orders to eBay DE. For an eBay account, in addition to the order paid for status, we also have the option to pick the delivery option form has been downloaded, Allegro eBay. After selecting this option, the order may not always be paid. Therefore, if we choose this option, it is worth adding a condition here at the bottom. Cash on delivery equals yes. This way, we know that this order is to be paid with cash on delivery. We can also update the status and change previous conditions accordingly. We can also modify distribution of orders. And let's click Save. Let's add another automatic action. Again, let's choose the order has been paid for, then add our first condition. This time we will deal with delivery methods. Again, let's pick source of the order equal to any eBay account. Add another condition, shipping method. Let's pick equals and introduce our method. First, we can enter FedEx. Let's choose from the available list, the FedEx International Economy Method for eBay UK. Once all the discussed conditions are met, we can change the status to FedEx. The case is slightly different in the case of an online storefront. If our source is not eBay, but rather an online storefront, any storefront, we can also enter this here. Any shop, shipping method, equals enter a name for this shipping method. Remember, this shipping method must be the exact same method that exists in the store. That is, if the store has a shipping method called FedEx, we have to enter FedEx and then space 
in order to account for all the existing FedEx shipping methods. Only then can we set the target status as FedEx. Finally, we can choose the relevant actions group and click Save. Another way to distribute orders is based on the origin warehouse. Let's add an automatic action. Choose the order has been paid for. Let's put in as source of the order, any store, and then introduce another condition, product from warehouse. In the dropdown, we can see all the warehouses available in the base linker system. For example, for Manchester Warehouse, we can change the status to ready for shipping. We can also modify this order and mark with an asterisk. The asterisk will serve as additional information that this order must be sent, for example, from a different warehouse. Finally, let's select our actions group and save the new automatic action. Let's see how else we can distribute our orders. Let's add another automatic action. Again, choose the order has been paid for and see what other conditions are available. We can group orders based on product-specific information. For example, extract ordered by their EAN numbers. We can also split an order that does not have a specific EAN number. The conditions here allow us to always choose a positive or a negative condition. We can also Group by category, by stock level, additionally, by country. We can divide our orders into statuses based on the country they originate from. We can do the same with the city parameters. No matter what option you choose, after selecting the relevant condition, you can later transfer this order to another status of your choice or execute any other action.